Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can download tracks from the Mayo Kart wiki and hopefully try to break them. Um, you can get your tracks in the latest release section on the right side here, or you can go over to the left and use the search bar. If you want to get a track from CTGP, you can search CTGP Revolution and look at the track list, or you can just simply search the track as I'm doing here. So we're going to get a lava lake up. An important thing to mention is that you have download and version on the right here. The download will always be the version listed here. Almost always, there could be a few cases where it's not. If you scroll down to version history, these blue uh, version names, they are download links. So you can just click on that and download that specific version. And you can also see here that each version on the wiki shows you what has been updated in each version. Down here you can see custom track distributions and it will show you which distributions it's in and which versions are in each distribution. So that way you can go to CTGP Revolution and pick details. And then all you have to do is go see which version of CTGP is the latest. It hasn't been updated in a little while, so it should be on version 2.3, but however at the time this was on version 2.2. And 2.2 has a respawn bug in it which got patched in version 2.3 and I'm going to show you how I found the respawn bug in 2.2. So you just want to download it. Some of them will be on Google Drive, some of them will be on Dropbox, some of them will be on Media File, it's all the same. You just download it and then you open up the file using Ctools SS Explorer. A uh, link to that will be in the description. So then um, you go into the main folder. So you just click here on the main folder and then you're straight into it. And then you pick your course.kcl and course.kmb. Nothing else matters. This is the only two files we want. We're just gonna export the kcl by right clicking on it and choosing export. And then you just choose which folder you wanna put your files in. It's also very important that when you're exporting the KMP that you have it in the same folder as your KCL and your KCL needs to be named course.kcl. So then you're just going to open up the KMP file using Lorenzi's KMP editor. And you can simply do that by right clicking and selecting open with and then you'll have a list of programs and yeah, you'll be able to sort it out from there. It's very simple. I downloads a Lorenzi's KMP editor will be in the description as well. When you load it in, because the course.kcl is in the same folder, you will see the collision models, visual representation in 3D, and you can see there's different colors for different collisions. So white is road, uh, pink is sticky road, red is the full boundary, and you can toggle those on and off on the left. Um, same with full boundaries, like, no, it's, same with invisible walls actually, the blue walls that you see around the place. And you can just toggle them on and off to see if you can, you know, see what's behind them or whatever if you need it. But they are transparent, so there shouldn't be a need for that. Um, you can see there's also a blue road, that's a water stream. And walls will have a slightly darker shade of grey than what the white road would be. If you're looking for a horizontal piece of wall to clip through walls, you can actually find that just by seeing a darker bit of road, really. So if something's darker in the road, that means it's a horizontal wall. So yeah. Um, everything is one-sided in the collision file. So usually track creators have to make two different faces so that it would have collision on both sides. But by default, we'd only have one face. And so everything is one side, like the wall there. You're not gonna go through it from the other side. So, it's, yeah. Uh, and as you can see, even the road is just completely one-sided. There's no need to make it two-sided. But yeah, if something is one-sided, you can simply draw it like a wall. You can simply just drive through it from the other side. You can just drive through it. It has no effect on you. Um, yeah. So now you're looking at a checkpoint map. And these yellow lines represent respawns and which checkpoint links up to each respawn. 
um, the pink ones, they're key checkpoints or KCPs, and the blue ones are normal checkpoints. The light pink one, as you can see here, that is your starting line checkpoint, and it is very important. There's also KCP0, and you go from KCP1 to KCP2, KCP3, KCP4, and so on. So it's just, yeah. So as you can see on this turn here, there's no key checkpoints really. There's nothing stopping you from jumping across to the other section, apart from the fact that, you know, you don't have enough distance. So that is a bit of a shame. Um, what you have to do then is you just jump over. And once you're in, yeah, once you land in the lava, you can be loaded into the section over here on the left. And it's just a matter of, okay, you're in the lava. You're no longer in the checkpoint zone you were in. So now when you hit the lava here in a new checkpoint zone that's loaded in, you'll be respawned now. And of course, all the checkpoints in front of you up until the next key checkpoint are always going to be loaded in. So that's very helpful stuff. So you can just really just hop across here using the ramp. This was later patched by adding a new key checkpoint so that you, this checkpoint wouldn't be loaded in. So that way you couldn't get the respawn. And then he added an invisible wall. And I think maybe a death boundary. I don't know. There could be a death barrier there. But yeah, it, it, it is well patched now. I did realize you can get underneath the invisible wall, but even then, there's no way of skipping past the checkpoint, unfortunately. You just have to drive for it for the laps count. Um, so yeah, that's that. You can also move the checkpoints up and down using the editing Y values. And checkpoints, they're infinitely high. So no matter where you are on the track, as long as you're going over where the line would be, you're fine, you'll hit the checkpoint. They're infinitely high. Or they've got infinite height, rather. So yeah, that should be about it. Um, happy hunting. Yeah.